pretty obvious that the sailing of a convoy through the Mediterranean involves many hazards. Take this convoy from Gibraltar to Malta, for instance. It had to steam about a thousand miles, mostly within easy striking distance of the enemy's main sea and air bases. And as you'll see in this film, shot by Jack Cotter of Movie Tone and his newsreel colleague Hardy, it was constantly liable to attack from the air, from the sea, and from under the sea. The escort included two aircraft carriers, HMS Eagle and the old Argus, which, by the way, was originally designed as a liner for an Italian company. However that may be, aircraft from these ships did much good work during the many attacks made on this convoy. Scientific vigilance was naturally observed in every ship and every precaution was taken. Paravanes, for example, were streamed as the ships approached an area likely to have been mined. And in one ship, owing to a temporary breakdown, they manned the capstan like this, complete with a Royal Marine fiddler. The main attacks, made over a period of three days and at times within a very short distance of the enemy's coast, were often a combination of high-level bombing and simultaneous torpedo aircraft attack, plus, on occasion, attack by submarine. charges kept enemy submarines in their place. JU-88s and Stukas launched attack after attack. Bombs came screaming down and everything from big gun to pom-pom blazed away in reply. the flash on this plane. Looks like a hit, all right. enemy planes were destroyed, 43 certainties as a matter of fact, and another 22 probables as well. Here's one in trouble, engine on fire and certainly bound for Davy Jones' locker. Occasionally there was a lull, and then people had a spot of something to eat at their stations. Then another attack, once again, high level and torpedo bombers all at once. Here comes an Italian torpedo bomber, mast high and asking for trouble. It got trouble. The convoy was also attacked by Italian cruisers and destroyers. The escort, however, laid a smoke screen to protect the merchantmen and also attacked the enemy with success, driving them off and scoring hits. Here's a quick impression of the action. Shells falling in the smoke and this side of it, guns firing in reply. the cleanup. 
The enemy put out the usual fantastic claims about damage done to this convoy and another which sailed from Alexandria at the same time. Our losses were large, but nothing like the Axis claims. The enemy losses were, of course, something they didn't talk about at all. On arrival at Malta, a vivid impression of the damage there. That small island, which has suffered thousands of bombings, naturally shows gaping wounds. The people and the garrison of Malta, who have deserved the admiration of the world, well know the difficulties and the hazards of each Mediterranean convoy. Yet danger and courage in the face of it have linked the future destiny of Malta and Britain more strongly still, whatever the immediate dictates of war. The end of the story is marked by the departure of one of the escort on her way back to Jib. If this film has illustrated some of the hazards of a convoy, let it close on the fighting spirit of the men. <laughs>